guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see by the title, it's gonna be just a week in my life again because I've been kind of getting into this like editing, vlogging kind of groove. So I'm like, okay, let's film another pointless week in my life. I'm doing nothing, except I actually am gonna do something. As you can see from the thumbnail, I am going to be cutting my hair. It has gotten very, very long as you can see and I am going to be attempting to do a quarantine haircut Yay. hopefully after the video it'll be good I'm not going to be doing too much to my hair I'm actually just going to be giving it a trim the video that I have to follow along actually a friend of mine Irene hey Irene she is a hairdresser makeup artist she works in the beauty industry and she is a great friend of mine who was kind enough to send me some videos of teaching me how to pretty much cut your own hair she usually is the one who actually cuts my hair so I this is how long it's been and how much it's grown since she cut my hair I've been trying to find a hairdresser in Andorra and I just I can't do it I just I love the way Irene cuts my hair I will leave her handle right here um, I'm not really doing much for the week. It is again just grocery shopping. Hopefully I will be making a few recipes on this channel again like the infamous quarantine banana bread. I know everyone has been doing it. So I will be taking you guys along in my week of nothing. Let's go ahead and get into this week's vlog. <laughs> teacher I just am not skilled that's just all it is so this is what my hair is looking like I think like that it's a good trim you know and if it's not even I don't care so here is the finished results like not bad right I just did like a blunt cut that's what I wanted just like a little trim you saw how it was in the footage before and then I did a couple of little layers in the front kind of going diagonally just I mean not bad for cutting my hair for the first time I usually wear my hair in a bun so 99.9% .9 of the time my hair is always up I tried okay not bad not bad not bad I can't believe all the stores are closed. I really want them to open. It's so nice. I just 
really want to go shopping. So the only shopping I can do right now is groceries. So let's go. This is going to be the first place I go to when it's open. I miss you. haul again there's not much else that we can do obviously it's still locked down the only things that are really exciting for the time being is going to the grocery store but more and more each day I think there are stores that are allowed to be open sections of the grocery stores are finally like opening as well so I picked up a few things. Here's a little mini haul of the things that are keeping me from going insane. So I will show you the little haul that I have here. Again, nothing exciting, but for me it's exciting. The pharmacies are obviously open, but certain sections of the pharmacies are open now. So let's just get into the haul. First up, we have Advil. Because who doesn't like Advil? And you know what's funny? During the whole coronavirus thing, everyone's like, Don't take Advil! You know what? It helps with cramps, it helps with headaches, it helps me forget the pain of the stupid people around the world. So, Advil necessary. Next thing I got are just like collagen eye masks. It's like a charcoal one. Super cute. Eye mask. I also got a gold one as well. I don't really know what they do, but cute little eye masks because we are all in self-care mode during quarantine. So, a another project that I'm working on besides vlogging, cooking, or baking is I used to be a massive like painter, sketcher. I used to love that type of art. So I'm going to try to get back into it. As you can see from my sad, sad painting, I'm going to still paint this and do it properly. And I will actually show you a reveal with it. We're going to do that. So the things that I picked up are this like painting fuck it's called dish petri dish ah, i've used it like makeup terms and i don't remember what it's called uh fuck. someone tell me what this is called i'm too lazy to search it up i got a bunch of watercolor paints super excited oh my god i haven't painted watercolor since i was like 12 13 i'm super excited i got some paint brushes obviously and then i got this is the super U packaging so what I picked up, super exciting, more black paint and another fat paintbrush. I'm so excited to show you guys what I'm going to do with these because I'm going to pretty much transform this into something nicer. I told you, this was there just for the time being. Don't judge me. It's ugly, I know. It's sad looking, I know. And another thing that recently started happening is that the pharmacy slash like perfumery stores have started opening up their online business. So you're actually able to order anything online and get it home delivered, which is really awesome for me because our country is still in lockdown, meaning there are no deliveries whatsoever outside the border, which means the only deliveries that are available are within the country. So the fact that the perfumeries have started opening up again, I had to purchase this one purchase that I've been out of forever. Okay, that's exaggerating, not forever, but... I've been out of pretty much since like right at lockdown and I've been dying without this. So I ordered from the Julia Center and there are a like perfumery, skincare, pharmacy, makeup, cosmetics, hair stuff, amazing. They have a massive center um, on Mary Che and they have like a nail bar, a hair salon, a makeup counter. I'm pretty sure there's a cafe all the way at the back too and they sell a whole bunch of just like anything beauty industry related and even on the upstairs level there is a rebate clinic which they have their home base in barcelona actually so like a cosmetic clinic to get like botox and stuff yeah let's get into this this is what 
this is what I ordered. So I got the Marc Jacob Daisy Perfume because hello, this is all I use and I've been using for the past 10 years and I ran out pretty much like right when lockdown started. I had like my last few sprays. One of the main stores in Andorra are perfumeries. They have the best deals of perfumes that I've ever seen, ever. I remember getting this guy in Winners back in Canada. That would be the sale price for 80 Canadian. They retail usually at Sephora for like 100 something. This was 50 euros for the 75 milliliters, which is usually what I get. 50 euros, which translates to maybe around 70 Canadian. Tax all in, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be definitely ordering and starting a collection of perfumes. They have a massive Joe Malone store here, which is amazing. And hello, tax free. They came with a bit of goodies. We have a Chanel Hydra Beauty Camille Water Cream. So cute. And then they have this Dior Capture Total little mini something eye cream it's an eye cream and then they gave more samples of just random little perfumes which is actually a funny story I've been desperately just needing to smell nice obviously and so I had like a tiny sample of this like Hollister perfume so gross I mean it was good enough for me to use for now but it's just like not my scent at all it was all that i had so happy to have this back again oh my god it smells so good so anyways that was the mini little haul super excited for you guys to see little projects i'm gonna be working on very excited i love painting i miss it so much i used to make awesome pieces so on tonight's agenda we're actually going to be making the crunch wrap supreme inspired by taco bell i mean Hello, crunch wrap. But we've made this really, really awesome recipe that we found, I don't know, somewhere online. That's where I've been finding all the recipes lately. And we made it a few times already. And oh it tastes amazing. Like, it is way healthier because obviously we're using ingredients and like not going so crazy on like the fake cheese. We're not even using fake cheese. We're gonna be making crunch wraps. We're making mojitos. It is Saturday night, so we want to drink and eat.
The clips that you saw before, obviously I made the banana bread, I did some paintings. I did this one for fun, I, I just needed something there for now again. But, little story time. Been almost like a week and a half since I cut my hair and everything. And pretty much I just spent a week getting over an ear infection. I've been just trying to film an outro for a while, but I used to get ear infections as a kid. But since moving to the mountains, the change in altitude, elevation has made the pressure in my ear go like up and down. It pops every time we go up or down the mountain and anyways, it's just been like really messed up since like the beginning of the year. Um, and I just thought nothing of it. I'm like, oh, okay, well, whatever. I'm always deaf anyways. But this week something happened and yeah, I got an ear infection. So I've been trying to recover from that. I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life. If you have any requests for any videos, comment down below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.